Number one, there was a golden retriever who saved countless lives on September 11 by going back to find people. His companion was in a wheelchair. He got him out and kept going back in to save others. Number two, once someone has had the good fortune to share a true love affair with a golden retriever, one's life and outlook are never quite the same. Number three golden retrievers are not bred to be guard dogs, and considering the size of their hearts and their irrepressible joy in life, they are less likely to bite than to bark, less likely to bark than to lick a hand in greeting. In spite of their size, they think they are lap dogs, and in spite of being dogs, they think they are also human, and nearly every human they meet is judged to have the potential to be a boon companion who might, at any moment, cry, let's go, and lead them on a great adventure. Number four, a dog is the only thing on earth that loves you more than you love yourself. Number five, there is no psychiatrist in the world like a puppy licking your face. Number six, Capo, my first golden retriever, so loved to swim she once jumped off a cliff to get into Lake Superior. Number seven, it seems like all the good looking people have smaller dogs these days, especially for the women, because they always come in with their little chihuahuas and the guys come in with their golden retrievers. Number eight, a dog teaches a boy fidelity, perseverance, and to turn around three times before lying down. Number nine, the great pleasure of a dog is that you may make a fool of yourself with him, and not only will he not scold you, but he will make a fool of himself too. Number ten, hey. Do you know what you call blonde with a brain? I asked, and they continued in the same breath, a golden retriever. I've heard that one, too, she said, no longer smiling. I'll keep trying, I promised. Thanks for watching, please like, share, and subscribe.